phenomenon. There was only one dramatically incomplete voyage, but 85 years after she went down, Titanic endures. It's a big boat, huh? Daddy, it's a ship. A ship no woman apparently can get enough of at the movies. Iceberg, right ahead! On Broadway. Titanic. In books and soundtracks, even artifacts from the ship are drawing record crowds in Florida. The disaster of the century still is, almost a century later. It's one of the biggest tragedies of the century. Some might say one of the biggest news stories of the century. The real RMS Titanic was the wonder of an age, a technological marvel, supposedly unsinkable. But she lived only five days. The biggest liner of its day has inspired the most expensive movie of all time. A $200 million epic that Hollywood naysayers predicted would be a bigger disaster than Titanic's original voyage. Women and children only! A bad bet. Despite the fact that the movie lasts a half hour longer than the actual sinking, Titanic is doing big business. And a flood of deadly reviews couldn't stop the Broadway musical. It spurred album sales and a run on bookstores for something, anything Titanic. Can't keep the books on the shelf. As soon as we put them on, they're gone. So how does a ship hold the popular imagination 85 years after it sank? Well, like most legends, RMS Titanic was epic in its proportions, the biggest liner of its time. Had a roster of the era's rich and famous, a sudden disaster at sea, and you've got the formula for a century of fascination. It's just a very interesting and intriguing story. Partly the tragic deaths of 1,500 people in the darkness, partly the death of a ship, but it may also be a subtle lesson everyone can understand. It brings a sense of, of I guess, realization that, that life is too short and you just have to make the best of it. The lesson of a great ship that couldn't sink. For today, Pat Dawson, NBC News, New York.